Welcome Soul Family. We have another personality reading today of much requested reading. Today we are looking at the personality for Jean Yobin, our female leader of actress in Vincenzo. And uh, let's, without wasting your time, let's just look at her personality spread. Okay, so this is the personality spread on your bean. And um, let me look at her central personality first. We have the most positive card in the tarot, which is the sun. And this gives a sum of her personality. She is like the sun, very bright, very beautiful, very joyous. And when we combine it with her primary influence, which is the King of Wands, this is this shouts Leo to me all the way. And I think she is a Leo. So she has fiery, passionate energy. She's ambitious. She is, you know, a go-getter. Uh, very charming, very sunny. Somebody who's, you know, a joy to be around. She's somebody who can lighten up the room. And she, her natural self is a very joyous personality. You know, she's not the kind of who's going to cry and complain all the time. She's somebody who does something if there's a problem. And, you know, that is what many people will be looking up to her also to solve problems for them. Because she's got that fiery energy which is needed, you know, to push th through things. And if we look at her uh, past influences, her life has not been easy. She has had a lot of burden to carry in the past. And, oh, let me, where is the video? Yeah, here. So she's had a lot of burden to carry. And um, even in her future, if you see, it's not going to be easy for her. So there's going to be a lot of backstabbing which she's going to face in the future. Earlier, it was just difficult, but in the future, she's going to face negativity coming towards her. And I don't know even if it's already coming towards her now. So there is this very depressive, very negative energy which is coming, which she will have to face. And the thing is, she is strong enough. She's got a very strong backbone even to tackle with something like this. But nobody really wants to go through this, you know. And uh, the Ten of Swords is like, you know, where you feel very defeated. No matter what you do, you feel very defeated. When you look at her identity cards, we have judgment and the chariot. Again, just make you keep this aside. Okay. So the judgment and the chariot, you know, the judgment again as an identity, as a personality, it shows a person who is very open and who searches for the authentic self. Somebody who is, you know, always constantly on the lookout of how I can get better, how I can do this better and goes through a process of rebirth. And also I find judgment coming many times in people who are in showbiz because there's a call to uh, showcase their skills, I would say. There's a call inside where they need to show themselves, you know, in different personalities, in different, uh, they need to pick up other people's personalities and live through them. Okay, so I feel... Um, the judgment card comes a lot, you know, when I look at personalities in the showbiz. When uh, when I combine, when you combine her identity with the chariot, it shows a very forceful person. She's somebody who is bold. She's somebody is, you know, she's the kind of friend you want when you're in trouble. She is the kind of person who will take you out of whatever you are in. She by her sheer force of personality. You are, she's not going to back down. And not only that, she understands people. She has that intuitiveness. She's like the star. She has that, you know, she has all the tools. Uh, she's very smart. She knows how to read people. She is street smart. You know, you cannot cheat her. You cannot um, get away by making fool of her because she understands psychology. She, she understands what motivates people. She understands what drives people. And she knows how to play the game. So this makes her a very, very forceful personality. I think all the burdens that she carried earlier, you know, that has forged her personality. In the public, she is the page of swords. Now, this shows a person, when I see the sword over here, I feel she's somebody who's very witty. The first word which came to me was she's witty. She has a razor sharp tongue and she can talk very well. She's articulate. And, you know, uh, that is how she's very young in her energy when she's in the public. 
and uh, that is how I see her. And in the in the private, she's like, when we look at the full journey, what it means is she's naive, she's trusting. So the people who enter her inner circle actually get to see this part of her. So in the public image, maybe she has this very suave persona. Inside, she must be somebody you know who wears her PJs and you know watches a favorite movie at night and you know dipping into ice cream or something like that. I mean, that's the image I get. Somebody who is not going to, you know, be made up all the time. She's not afraid to show herself without makeup. In her inner circle, she's very trusting. Once you enter her inner circle, she trusts you completely and she'll do and die for you. She's that kind of person. What are her fears? Her fears is being rejected. Uh, lack of love love being taken away she fears that her close relationships will leave her and go maybe she doesn't have a time for a relationship maybe she's busy and so she's always worried about the people who are close to her whether they're going to leave her or not you know whether they're going to move away from her that is one of her fears what she desires is the king of cups when i say the king of cups is she desires complete self emotional emotional mastery over herself she doesn't want to lose her temper. She doesn't want to be gullible. She doesn't want to be a slave to her emotions. She wants to be a master of her emotions. And maybe she wants to overcome this fear. Her only vulnerability in her life actually is the... It can come from the person she loves. She can only be vulnerable there. And that is what she's scared of. And that is what she wants to get over with, you know, where she gets that emotional mastery. Where she feels complete by herself, where she doesn't feel she needs anybody. Right now, she needs that emotional support. And maybe it's because, you know, she will need it in future also because a lot is coming her way. And uh, definitely she wants the emotional support of the people who are close to her. Over a period of time, I do see her come to this position where, you know, she's going to be the master of her emotions. So that was a personality reading of Jean Yobin and let's move to her career. Okay, so this is the spread for her career, past, present and future. Now when we look at her past, we see she's had a lot of difficulties. Maybe for her to break into this industry was not easy. She has the Eight of Swords and the Five of Swords together. So it is, uh, you know, she's been tied down, she had to... She has been disappointed. She has been criticized. She has gone through a difficult path to enter this industry in her career and in her past. But then it became better with the nine of pedigree. Suddenly, she, you know, her career changed. There was a sudden change, and suddenly, from having nothing, she went to having everything she ever desired. So that is how her career went. And now, if we look at her present, her present is on her career is Eight of Cups, King of Cups and the Chariot. So I see she must have walked away from some kind of project or she must have said no to something because here she's walking away to some kind of emotional thing, something she had emotional attachment to and she's walking away from it. And if you see she's walking to a better place, to the sun. And this purely in terms of career, there is, we are not talking about romance at all over here. So in career-wise, she must have left something and she's, more, you know, walking to another sunrise. And here, in terms of King of Cups, I feel she is finally attaining that emotional strength which she needs, you know, in her career. When you are in the King of Cups stage, you are in a stage to give. You are a, ma you are a manifester and then you have the ch chariot along with the King of Cups. Your career is going to take off or has already taken off you know, in high speed and it's going to just go higher. Look at the magic flowing over here. So this feels to me, you know, somebody's actually just, you know, or ringing the bowl and, you know, creating this kind of energy and that energy kind of makes great speed. So she has made a choice and then, you know, she is manifesting her future, you know, her, her present career from that choice. So I really don't know the details of that. And if we look at the future, we have the Nine of Wands, which is basically wish fulfillment. And the Queen of Cups, 
and the magician i find this amazing because she's from the king of cups she's moving to the queen of cups so more, a little bit more passive role compared to the king all right in her career but when we have a magician with it, it means you've become a master manifester you have magic in your hands and you can create whatever you want so i feel her career is going to you know definitely go up there's a lot of bright things coming for her in her career i do feel that so that's for her career that reading and now let's move to her love life so her past i think she had a relationship i don't know whether it was public or not but it was really important to her and i think it kind of you know changed who she is that relationship brought a lot of change in her and helped her really grow and also supported her during the past so i don't know whether this relationship is the same one which is still going on because i don't see a, a breakup over here death or rebirth is something which changed her but not doesn't necessarily mean that that relationship broke because these two cards are very positive you have the ace of wands and then you have the sun so you know she, this is how she felt like in that relationship it was like the sun to her and uh, it helped her a lot so uh you know this was a new beginning ace is a new beginning so there was something new it was a passionate relationship and it caused how to change as a person and change for the better okay that is the past in her love life but when we look at her present right now <clears throat> we have a five of wands which basically shows a lot of conflict you know there's a lot of conflict and then we have a hangman so she is looking at her relationship in a different way and i feel somehow that as if this thread is kind of broken so there are issues over here and she's having the tower which is basically to me it definitely shows that her relationship right now is having big problems in her present and uh, again the tower doesn't necessarily mean a breakup but it means you know that something very tough is going on something which you know you have to uh, that they're fighting something which they have to resolve and maybe you know she has to change her perspective the tower is going to make her change her perspective on relationship we have a two of cups coming up again which again i feel is that it might be possible after this tower moment they might come back and you know be in a relationship again i don't think it is a break up and we have a queen of wands where she is very happy now you know she has something precious in her hand and she is very happy and again it's a somebody who's full of passion she gets a passion back and then we have a two of pentacles so again here she is maybe taking a decision you know two of pentacles means you're juggling maybe here she's juggling her career and her love life maybe she needs to give the time to her love life for her relationship to grow and maybe she realizes that it's important <clears throat> that she really needs to uh, you know she can't just concentrate on her career she has to give time to this relationship for this relationship to grow and i feel that is what she realizes and i think that's what's going to be in her future love life so i hope you all enjoyed this reading and if you all did please give my video a thumbs up and hope for um, i hope you like you subscribe and give me comments i love to hear from